I can't tell someone what to do in their in their house. Sounds like you do want to tell people what to do in their house. I never said that. So you're totally okay with people being trans, just not as long as they're in public. No, I never said that. Libs of TikTok creator Kaya Rychik struggled to answer some very basic questions during an interview with Taylor Lorenz. Uh, now, this interview is weird. Uh, for one, uh, Rychik actually shows up wearing a shirt with Taylor Lorenz's face on it to troll her. That sounds like, who does that? That's weird. Okay. And secondly, getting on to the more substantive points, right, that she talks about, she says, I never said that. I never said that. Quite a bit when, you know, addressed with things that she has advocated for. For example, uh, the elimination of transgender people from daily life. In fact, I want to show you more of the interview in context so you know what I mean. If you eradicate transgenderism, which I believe you suggested in a post today. No, I never suggested that. Oh, okay. You reposted a post that was advocating for that. What would happen to the people that have already medically, socially completely transitioned and are leading happy lives? What would happen to them? I mean, what's your plan for, for that? If transgenderism doesn't exist, which it seems like you're, that's what you believe, what happens to all the people living happy lives as trans people? Well, it, first of all, the whole trans is it's based on a lie. You can't change your you can't change your gender. Okay, but so they could they could go live their 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 life. I mean, I can't tell someone what to do in their in their house. Sounds like you do want to tell people what to do in their house. I never said that. So you're totally okay with people being trans, just not as long as they're in public. No, I never said that. They could. It's the whole thing is based off of a lie, and I think that um, the fa this lie cannot be mainstream in our in our society. It's just it's a lie. And what harm is it causing? Do you believe? Um, I like the truth. I like truth. Right, but I'm saying, what what's the what's the harm of people expressing their gender identity differently than you believe it to be? What what harm are they causing? Um, like I said, we are a a um, a nation of truth, and I I'm, I'm, I seek the truth. But that's but I'm asking about the harm. What's the harm? You might believe it to be false, but what's the, the harm, harm is that there's a lie that is very mainstream and is being embedded into every institution. I guess I'm wondering what the material harm is. Aside from it's maybe something that you disagree with, as in your version of the truth is different than their version of the truth, what is the material harm of them living in their life as a woman or man or gender that you don't agree Not with? anything that's wrong is there a material harm necessarily. So there's no harm. I didn't say that. All right, so there's a lot that really stands out to me on this, uh, but I I guess I just want to start with the fact that she couldn't say what would happen to the people who have already transitioned, right? So what's going to happen to those people? I mean, it's a good question. If, if, if she gets her way, right, what happens to those people? Well, it's not like she doesn't know the answer. In my opinion, I think she knows the answer. I think she's just afraid to say it, right? Uh, because of her audience, okay? It, it's what she and others that are against trans people existing that want to eliminate transgenderism, okay, uh, is ultimately the forced detransition of every person who identifies as trans. That's it. The forced detransition, that is the end goal, to end medical transition for all people, medical and social transition, okay? That's what eliminating transgenderism is, okay? Telling people, no, no, it doesn't matter how you feel inside. You will, uh, you will, uh, if you're, if you're a woman, for example, uh, born as a, you know, a woman assigned female at birth, whatever, right, you want to call it. Uh, if that's how you were born, then you're expected by the government, mandated to dress that way. Uh, what does that mean? You're going to ban pants for women? Uh, because pants might be too manly. Uh, what are you going to do? Like, you know, is, is, is that, is, what about pants suits? Is that, is that acceptable? Like, what, at what point do you draw the line here? At what point do these gender critical people, which by the way, uh, Rajiv wants to, says that, you know, gender is a social construct. I agree with that. Okay. But she also then says it doesn't really exist. So you're so close. Gender is a construct and it does exist because we created it. <laughs> yes, I know. And gender 
is your self-expression. It is the expression of who you actually are, how you feel, what you feel your role is. It, you know, that's it. That's it. it. And it is different than sex. And sometimes sex and gender align. Sometimes sex and gender don't. It turns out human beings, very complicated, I know. Uh, but again, getting back to the ultimate goal here, uh, what what people like Ratchet will actually want to do is, again, eliminate transgenderism, right? And now they do it through bathroom bills, right? They do it through drag bans. They do it through banning hormones for first trans teens, then adults, okay? And then, of course, at the end of the day, they'll also get to banning surgeries for adults, okay? And so that's that's it. That, all of which means the end of transgender people. Gone. Gone. The forced medical detransition of transgender people. Along with, of course, treatments that uh, non-trans people use to correct, for example, hormone imbalances. Those would be gone too. What, you think that uh, all these anti-trans laws uh, won't, you know, spill over to affect mainly transgender, uh, I'm sorry, cisgender women? Because that usually, what's, that, that's what happens. For example, we, we have seen bathroom bills impact girls who are not considered to be feminine enough where you have people going into you know bathrooms or people inside of bathrooms saying well you, what are you are you're not a girl you're not a girl you don't belong in here like what's next genital inspections or maybe they just you know dress differently so are you going to start mandating skirts for girls i mean where is the line here and that line, again, they can never really tell you where that line ends because it's very unpopular. But at the end of the day, it's for, there to design, uh, you know, it's designed to enforce traditional gender rules, which will erode women's rights. They see trans women existing as a vehicle they can use to erode the rights of women in general, right? So they attack trans women. And usually, again, trans misogyny is just misogyny with extra steps. It's always been, okay? They use the excuse, though, that we're protecting women to help to reinforce those traditional gender roles and stereotypes that have kept traditionally women down, okay? I don't know if Kai Reichick realizes that, realizes that standing against trans women actually means standing against women in general, but that is what she's doing. But she you know, can't answer, again, what, it, what she wants to have happen to trans people, so, so she pivots to, but, well, it's a lot. It's a lot. I stand for the truth. We're a nation of truth. Really? Are you, though? Look, she's an election denier and a pusher of the, pusher of the Great Replacement Conspiracy Theory. Yes. They're importing people. That's what she, she said during the interview. They're importing people who want to destroy America. Who's they? Who's they? They come in. They're destroying our cities. They bring crime with them, and they're bringing them in to replace us. First off, the crime thing, uh, crime is way down everywhere except for Washington, D.C. Secondly, immigrants actually commit less crime than people that are born here. It's not to say they don't ever commit crime, okay? But they commit less crime overall because they want to be careful so they can stay here. And third, it is interesting that she, a Jewish woman, parroted a right-wing conspiracy theory that is anti-Semitic at its core. Again, when you get down to the Great Replacement Theory, who's they? Who's they? They usually means Jews. Because when you drill down to the core of right-wing conspiracy theories, it always comes down to the Jew. They're doing something. Again, either she doesn't know this and is deeply ignorant, or she knows all this and is still doing it for self-serving reasons. The fact that she is unable to answer very basic questions, I, again, I, I don't really know. Uh, I don't really know if she's trying to use ignorance as a defense or not. But when it comes down to it, I guess it doesn't matter because what she's done is ruin people's lives as a result of something she apparently can't even articulate. Which tells me that, it, again, she's either hiding the extent of her hatred of trans people or that she doesn't believe any of it and is just using it to get fame and money.